What's up guys and welcome back to the Car Wars YouTube channel. So today we got some horrible weather up in South Carolina. It is pouring rain and um, you know what that means though? That means perfect time to be working on your car inside the shop. So I got my bumper off. I was doing a little bit of maintenance and a little checking over making sure everything's working perfectly on the car and while I had that off I was like you know what let's make a little video of an overview of what I have on my car pretty much a little list off so if you got yourself a Cadillac CTSV and you are planning to build it and you kind of want to know what do I need to do to my car to get it to 870 horsepower that's what I got to the crank 750 to the wheels because when I started off I had to do a whole lot of research had to go through like all the forums through a bunch of YouTube videos so let's make this a little easier for you I'm gonna go through just list off pretty much all the parts that I have on my car because it's kind of important to build your car right if you want it to last you gotta you have to pick the right parts make sure the parts work with the other parts that you have they have to work in harmony that's what I learned and once everything works perfectly the car just works flawlessly and it's gonna last you a long time what we got here is a 418 stroker with forged internals so we got a manly crank rods pistons I got a manly oil pump you gotta upgrade your oil pump I got a BTR stage 2 cam which is somewhere in there three bolt timing gear on the cam I got a brand new timing chain, push rods, double, double spring valves. I got ported heads by Total Engine Airflow. So the heads are ported. The supercharger is ported. The throttle body is ported. So it kind of looks stock. You got a nice stock looking throttle body, but it's actually ported inside. The supercharger is ported out. I got ID 1050X injectors, which are sitting over here under the fuel rail. I got the E85 sensor right here, so usually that's where you put it, that, this right here is the E85 sensor. I got ARP head bolts, uh, you can't see them, but ARP head bolts, well ARP bolts on the crank on the bottom, on the rods, I got pretty much everything ARP in there. I have a 100 millimeter idler right here. So a hundred millimeter top idler and a fifty millimeter bottom idler right there, right, right. Come on, right under this a hundred millimeter. So what it does is it kind of makes a belt wrap. It wraps around your top pulley, so you get more surface area. So your supercharger belt actually doesn't slip. I got the green gates belt on it. Two point five five top. Pulley, Matco pulley, a 955 Matco bottom pulley. Let's get that, that right there with the harmonic balancer. Right away, the green belt. I got dedicated motorsports external fuel pump under the car right there. And then it runs back to your fuel tank taps in on the bottom let's see taps in on the bottom right there that way you don't have to pull out your fuel tank and that definitely helps out with installation then I got my mighty mouse mighty mouse catch can sitting right behind the heads in the back right there and then the lines run over here so you don't really have a oil cap and you just loosen this up right here take it off put your oil in there I got 160 Fahrenheit thermostat which is hiding over there faster proms 1.8 gallon expansion tank helps out with the cooling then we got zeal one lid right here with the reinforced brick and fittings definitely looks really nice and clean then I got some NGK TR 7IX plugs 
and then a Veramax right here pump for the supercharger that helps with the cooling also this little mod right here that I made I got some sheet metal right here and this little sheet metal it actually directs the air straight into the intake it sits right here in the bumper the little sheet metal is like that so this whole area directs the air straight into your intake so it's pretty much short ram four inch intake but it gets cold air and also in the bumper on the bottom over there it runs a little bit of air up inside also to the intake then i have two inch headers two inch headers you can't see them but they go to a three inch x pipe on the bottom three inch x pipe and it runs all the way back to stock mufflers i actually have stock mufflers to make it sound a little bit quieter but what i have is qtp cutouts so you open up the cutouts and the car is crazy loud and then you close them up and you got stock mufflers to make it nice and quiet well quieter sounds more like a cadillac next we got the killer chiller this right here is my little killer chiller so it uses the ac to cool the supercharger so the way my system is set up i got my expansion tank it runs down to my Veramax pump from my pump it runs up into my heat exchanger stock heat exchanger from the heat exchanger it runs into the killer chiller from the killer chiller it runs out back up into my lid from the lid back into the expansion tank and the cycle goes over and over a lot of guys are ditching the heat exchanger when they use just a killer chiller for now i'm still running it this is one of the things i'm still testing out if it fully works and functions so i might do a video later on the killer chiller but this is like a testing that i'm doing i'm still running the heat exchanger but i might ditch it later and just use this system for a dodge demon has the same kind of system but there's something else i wanted to cool down a little more so that's actually one of the reasons why i have the bumper off next i got myself little gauges we got the gauges right here i got my aerial force right here and my air to fuel ratio right here there we go that's gonna turn on it shows me my alcohol content and my IETs and on the top I got this little button right here switches off the AC inside the car and cools just the supercharger and then when I switch it back it runs the AC in the car and to the supercharger and this right here, this is where I mounted my little switch for my QTP cutouts for the exhaust. So when I pull it back, opens up my exhaust, the car turns loud, push it back, closes it up. So that sums up most of my build. I got maybe a few other little things that I might have missed, but for power wise, that's mostly what you need to know. Um, I got Ford Stars F14s. 19 inch on the front 17 inch on the back with some nice drag radials on the rear i run a pretty good time on the track um you can watch one of my other videos i almost got kicked out because i don't have a roll cage ow if you have any questions about the parts or the pricing or whatever you want to know put them in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you with everything as, as much as I know, help you out because I definitely did a lot of research. I definitely asked a lot of questions. Um, I'll try to help you guys out. Subscribe, comment, hit the little bell icon so you know every time I post a video if I'm replying to you. And I'll see you guys next time.